Capricorn, welcome to CS Tarot. We're going to be diving in, doing a you versus them reading. So we're going to start with your energy and then we're going to move into your person's energy towards you. Okay, we're going to find out how you guys are both feeling in this connection. This is a timeless reading. So whenever you see these messages is when you are meant to. Cappies, big month March. I'm feeling a lot of good energy. Okay. But let's dive in here. We're going to see how you're feeling. Um, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if this resonates for you. Also, I am open for personal readings and all of that information. My email and Instagram are down below in the description box. I do have a deal going on for $20 um, half price readings until uh, the end of March. So if you're interested in that, again, all of my information is down below. Now, this could be in regards to someone new. This could be a relationship, situationship, someone you've got a crush on. Okay, take it how it resonates. Sometimes the energies are reversed, but this deck is for you and how you're feeling, and this deck is for your person and how your person's feeling. Okay, so we're going to start with your energy, and then we're going to move into your person. So, Spirit, please show me clear, accurate messages for Capricorn. How is Capricorn feeling towards the person most heavily on their mind. Please show me clearly, Spirit. What is their energy towards the person most heavily on their mind? First out, Seven of Wands, Two of Swords, the Chariot. Show me more, Spirit. King of Swords. Bottom of the deck, six of wands. <clears throat> okay, Capricorn. So you want to open up the lines of communication with somebody here, okay, is what I'm getting with the king of swords. It's either you want to repair a connection or you want to move past some stagnancy that's going on in the connection or some kind of block, like you're ready to make a move here. We have the chariot energy, okay? So you're determined to um, get some clarity on whatever is going on in this connection here. I'm gonna get a little more energy on you here, Capricorn. But the, top, the bottom of the deck, crowning the reading is the six of wands. You could be desiring like recognition for something or you could be desiring um, some attention from this person. I keep hearing put respect on my name. <laughs> put some respect on my name is what I keep hearing here. But yeah, you want to move like maybe there's an argument going on here. Actually, let me just show me the show me the two of swords. Because the two of swords is out here. It feels like you're you could be blocking this person or feeling blocked. It doesn't mean that they're blocking you on social media or but it just feels like you're, you're in this sort of place where you're feeling a little stubborn, okay? So two of swords, six of pentacles. It's like you want more from this person in some way. It doesn't have to, it doesn't necessarily mean you want to step up this connection. Okay, so here's, here's the scenario I'm getting. You could either want this connection to move fast or you want clarity. There's something that you want to go your way here. It seems like you want this person to give you more time, attention. Show me the seven of wands. The four of pens, uh, four of wands. Okay, so you want stability in this connection. You want this person to show you that they care, I think is what I'm getting here. Or, or, or again, show you more attention. You want this connection to move forward. Give me the chariot. You want stability within this connection. Yeah, eight of pentacles to put into... Okay, so Capricorn, it feels to me like you want this person to put in some more work into this connection. Put some more effort in is what I'm seeing here. You want this person... You want equal give and take. Okay, you want this person to be more actionable. Show me the, the King of Swords, and then we're going to move on to their energy. Show me the King of Swords. The Hermit. 
So this person could be a little bit distant. Like, it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with the connection or what have you. It just more so feels like you want this person to show a little more interest. You want some change from this person. You want this person to make time for you. Maybe this person is wrapped up with work and not making time to see you, not making time for dates, not ma making time for intimacy. That could be an issue with this person. And you want this person to give this connection more time, attention, nurturing, um, so that it can grow, so that you guys can have stability within the connection. Okay, you see this person as long term, so you want you want more. You want more. You want more energy from this person. Let's see how they're feeling towards you, so I can get a clearer picture. Spirit, please show me, how is this person, the person most heavily on Capricorn's mind, feeling towards Capricorn? at this time please show us clearly spirit what is the person most heavily on capricorn's mind feeling towards capricorn Ooh, ace of wands look at that i'm gonna get one more so we've got the Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So this person could be stressed out at this time or uh, feeling a little anxious. So what do we got here? We've got the Star, okay. We've got the Star, we've got the Tower, and we've got the Ace of Wands, okay. Um, the Three of Pentacles. Sorry, let me start again. So we've got the Nine of Swords crowning. We've got the Three the three of pentacles, we've got the star, we've got the page of swords, we've got the ace of wands, and we have the tower, okay? So Capricorn, I'm feeling like this person does want to give you what they want, what you want here with the star energy, okay? This person does want to make this connection work. We also have the three of pentacles, it's about collaboration. This person does want to restart this connection. We have the tower here as well which is telling me that this person knows that they need to change, okay? Something needs to change. Maybe if they're being guarded, they need to bring down that guard, okay? This person is still interested in knowing more about you. We have the Page of Swords here, okay? But I feel like this person may be um, a little worried that you're at the end of your rope. They could have a lot on their plate right now. When it comes to work, that's a possibility as well. They could be scared that you're uh, that you may want to end it as well. I think that you're you're coming out kind of rigid here, uh, Capricorn, just like my way or the highway kind of energy. So this person is picking up on that and maybe feeling a little bit nervous. Um, in regards to that, I just seen the Eight of uh, Pentacles flash, so I'm feeling like this person's just been incredibly busy lately. I don't think that it's a lack of not wanting this connection or not wanting to devote energy or time but i think this person has a lot on their plate right now show me the three of pentacles this person does still have a lot of passion for you is definitely still interested in this connection yeah three of three of pentacles and the empress so this person this person is definitely still wanting you here this person sees you as the empress this person thinks you're very beautiful handsome okay take it how it resonates but this person thinks you're the queen of the queens or the king of the kin kings okay they want to work on this connection they want to work on this love okay i don't really see this person going anywhere they want to reignite this passion with the ace of the ace of wands here okay again the tower they know that they need to change show me the tower energy here the knight of uh pentacles so this person is very devoted to you, okay? Um, this person knows they need to change, but this may take time, okay? I don't think this person's going to be able to give you all of their time and attention overnight. Um, I think this person has a few loose ends that they need to close out. Yeah, bottom of the deck, look, it's justice. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. We have Libra energy, Scorpio, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Gemini. We do also have the Ace of um, Wands, which could be a fire sign. 
And then we've got the Page of Swords, which would be um, an air sign. Show me the Page of Swords here, Spirit. So Six of Wands and the High Priestess. They know that they need to show, they know that they need to show you more attention. They know that they need to give this connection their time and energy here. Leo energy, Pisces energy. They still have their eyes on you though. Even if they're um, at a distance or they're busy working, they're still watching your social media while they work. Um, they still got eyes on you here. They're very attracted to you, okay, with the star card and the ace of um, the ace of uh, wands. They're very attracted to you here, okay. They think that you're the one, but I think they're a little <laughs> they're a little stressed out, a little nervous that you may walk away from them here, Capricorn. Um, show me the ace of wands. And the two of swords, the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, they know, they know that they need to, they need to reignite this here. There could have been like, there could have, I don't know, maybe there's just been no communication for a while, or maybe this person hasn't made time to see you, but they want to here. And then show me this, I just seen the nine of wands again. Show me the star. The seven of pentacles this person sees that there's potential with you they see that there's potential with you bottom of the deck the sun yeah this person sees there's potential with you okay if this person has not been calling you or talking to you or showing you attention it's not because they don't want you they definitely do i think they're busy with other obligations maybe they haven't exactly expressed that to you okay i think they just have a lot on their plates with the nine of swords that's what it feels like. It just feels like they're stressed out and they can't they can't give you exactly what it is that you want at this point in time, but they, they have the intention to. So with the Knight of Pentacles, it might take a little bit of time, but they're definitely going to give you what it is that you want here, okay? They see a future with you. They see potential with you. We have the sun here. They're very attracted to you, strong sexual attraction as well. Um, but even if they're not with you, they're still watching you, okay? Is what I'm getting here. I'm going to pull Moonology before I wrap this up. If you are resonating, hit that like button, please. A time to give rather than take. Yeah, so I feel like the universe is really telling you to just like give this person, um, and then we have emotions are running high at the bottom of the deck. Um, give this person a little bit of room like maybe they're not giving you exactly what it is that you want right now but they have the intention to this person seems very solid very interested uh very committed to you um they see you as the empress here all right so they there's there's intentions of like a future there's intentions of love there's intentions of um giving and caring for you so i i don't i don't i think I mean, the universe here, a, a time to give rather than take is, you know, maybe get out of your rigid ways, Capricorn. <laughs> Allow this person um, a little bit of space to do what they need to do, sort out what they need to sort it out, and then they're going to be back here. Okay? They're going to be, they're going to be, when they get to a point where they can give you all of their time and attention, they will give it to you. They will give it to you. Okay? All right. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm wishing you all the best in your romantic future. Thank you so much for watching CS Tarot. Love and light.